everybody. Well, I just wanted to make one of my quick envelopes to send out some little bit of happy mail. And I started out by spraying blue. Got it all over my hand. But um, I wanted to start out with blue because of the sky. And I have, um, I will address this after it's dried. It's still a little bit wet. I'm just going to paint over this ink spray. It's my homemade ink spray. And I might have to add a little white to my green because my other green is just about out. I may be able to use what's left in the lid. But that's all I can do. So, um, so these are, uh, this is just going to be kind of a type of little vine to go around the edge. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. I've got some, I've got some left there. It's a little bit globby. That's okay. So I'm just going to start in this area. You can see it's kind of globby. I've got two colors on here and I really would love to see that. And I'm going to stop up here where the stamps go and go back a little bit and just fill in with some parts of the vine. I could so get carried away with this. In fact, I might uh, do some more. I'm going to sneeze. Sneeze alert! <coughs> so sorry. Pardon me. The allergies are really, really bad over here. We've got the hot weather coming, but the wind is blowing. But I didn't go for my walk yet because I wanted to not be sneezing and sniffling during while I was filming. So, um, here we go. Just going to add some some darker lines for outside shadows. I have a lot of um, challenges that I'm participating in at this time, which is very exciting, but sometimes I don't feel like I can film it while I'm making it because it will um, spoil the surprise, and then if I film it while I'm making it, my tablet is so old, which is how I film my projects um, and upload to YouTube, it's so old that I can't save anything on it. The storage space is um, all taken up. I had it with me. I had that and my phone with me in Africa, so 
all the space was was totally taken up by my pictures from from when I went there one year ago. Hard to believe it was one year ago. And I so am looking forward to someday going back. Because I'd like to check in on this orphanage that I visited. They're doing really well. The Omega Children's Care Orphanage. They just started doing some dancing and singing for other churches there for the first time on Easter and they they looked so cute they just had t-shirts with their name printed on them and in Africa they have uh, they have some very beautiful textiles and their the pants for the um, Their uniforms, their dance suits, were um, made from the beautiful textiles patterns. So the, on one side of the t-shirt they had a scripture, Psalms 23 I think, or um, I shouldn't say that because I don't know it for sure. Um, and on the other side it had their little logo that Patrick, the director, has come up with. He's so talented. He's gifted musically. He's one of the people, few people in the world that can play, play a melody, play a song, without reading the music or, or memorizing the music. He hears a song one time and he can replay it. So he's in need of a, a keyboard and I've been trying to figure out how to how to get one for him but shipping over there is extremely <laughs> expensive. Shipping to Australia or the UK or New Zealand is cheap con compared to the shipping to Africa, Uganda in Africa. So I'm just going over and over these, kind of layering them and building them up. And it's very fun. So now I'm just going around on the on the outside of the leaves putting the darker green color. And I've been organizing my my area here. Um, obviously not enough yet, but uh, two people that I know, well I don't know them but I watch their videos. Um, one is Rach0013, Rach, Rach. She's, um, she's a super Super mixed media artist, super crafter. Super art journaling. And uh, she is de-stashing one of her two art rooms. And she's being merciless. 
So I have really enjoyed watching and getting inspired by watching her de-stash. I never would have thought <laughs> that I would have enjoyed so much watching someone sort. Sort her. She's sorted everything. She's she's uh, made boxes to give away. She's made boxes to throw away. I mean, It's really the oddest thing. It's very motivating. And inspiring to me. So I've got a little mess right here on the side of me. And that's where I have um, projects that need to be done and projects that I will set aside mixed in when I finish them. So it's just chaos, and I, I, I can't really stand it. So her motivating me by putting up the videos of her de-stashing is, I really appreciate it. And then, um, because other crafters have become motivated and inspired to do the same thing, and our people that I watch, Dee Dee, Willie Ham has been, in a small way, she's been doing the same thing, but she's been uh, going through some of her ink sprays today, and you know how ink sprays are, they get, or um, any sprays, they get clogged, and so she's making a group for those that need to be, those sprays that need to be washed out, declogged, if you will. And those that are completely globby and no good anymore. So, So that's what uh, so that's what she's been doing this morning so far, and then um, to be right on the afterward, at, right on the heels of that. I'm trying to think of a cliche that I know, but it won't come up. Um, she's gonna do. Slap and drag, she calls it. Well, I just happen to love that kind of unstructured art. For one thing, if you slap something and drag it, I don't know, there's not too many ways to mess it up. Because if, you, if it's messed up, no one knows because it's a slap and drag. So there's my timer, and I'm going to be done with this now. Just finish these last few highlights in the middle. A highlight is the lighter color because it brings it out, and a low light is a shadow. Darker, shadowy, darker color. And there we go. If you're watching this video, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, um, please give me a thumbs up. And I love your sweet comments. Thank you so much for watching.